M0 FXP ICOM 7300. Let's update the firmware to check which firmware you've got. Just press menu in the bottom here, set, then scroll down to others, set, and then information and version. And I'm 1.41 and the latest is 1.42. So let's do it, let's back out. We're gonna need an SD card. Just gonna pop mine one out here, just underneath the volume. Like so, and it's the larger type. There you go, it goes that way around. See that? So you're gonna need one of them formatted. So I'm gonna put this, actually put it back in, and I'll show you on Amazon, which cable you need and which SD card. So an SD card like this, you could buy one of these with a with a converter and just use a micro SD card, but you need the big one to go in. Just make sure that little tab is up so that it's not locked. Then you need to download the firmware and the log, the change log says, added link in, linkage function for the ICPW2, that's the new amplifier. Uh, improve the manual all reset options. When the all reset can not be performed, the reset screen, holding down the clear and the VM keys while turning on allows you to perform reset. That's good, isn't it? So let's do the firmware. On your PC, just scroll to the bottom here and accept the terms and then let it download. I use Google to your downloads folder, just up here now. And there it is there, there's the zip. Put that somewhere where you're gonna find it, but this is the file we want, the little data file here, 7300.142, just there circling. That's the important one. And we're going to need to get that onto our, S our, our USB stick. So what you do is, Go back to your radio, click menus, set, SD card. If it's never been in there before, you will have to sort of do format and yes. Okay, just so it's got all the files on there. Then pop it out, like so. I mean, I recommend you turn it off, but I'm not. Pop it out and put it into your adapter and plug it into your PC. That's the adapter I've got, but you can get them. Again, I'll put a link in the description, USB to a micro SD card adapter. Just don't get, if you don't get a, a cheap one, it will be fine. So plugging it in there, it's gonna go straight into our PC. Just back that out. Then we're gonna go at the bottom here where the window squares are, right click. Device, let me get it right now. We're looking for files actually. Look for your little yellow file. So start and look for the yellow file explorer. In this window, look here for your USB drives. Click one and until you see icon, there it is there, 7300. Double click that, and there you are. Look, when you see all your files, capture, decode, settings, voice, etc. So click it once like so and we're going to put the file we want just at the bottom here go to your downloads and so i'll go right click show in folder and then it opens up the window where you've put your file and double click until you see it clearly and then we're going to drag it into our other folder literally just going to click it and then drag it up to the bottom there look there it is there sat there one data file and note that your memory channels and your screen captures they're all going to be here as well and look voice tx and voice record and you've got even your a file for your settings as well so you can save all of that on the radio to the sd card so now grab the sd card out of your pc pop it back in So go menu, menu here, and then set, scroll with the VFO right down to you see SD card, give that a tap, and then firmware, 
and get the warning, scroll down and go yes. It says, depending on the version, all the settings and memories may be lost. So make sure you do a backup. Now, if you want to know how to do a backup, let me just show you. Uh, da, da, da. It, I think it gives you the option when you do the firmware anyway. So here is that save setting, new file, and then just you can name it if you want and press enter. Yes, but there's nothing on my radio, so there's nothing to save. Anyway, back SD card firmware update. You get the warning. Yes, yes. I'm just going to do it again, like so. Oh, yeah, I can see what it does. It makes you, it to save it anyway. You just go yes. And then it takes you straight to the firmware. You tap the firmware at the top there, and it will say 7.142. And then click yes, you have to press and hold. Updating main CPU firmware. And that's it, really. It's all you do. And it restarts automatically. 1.42 here. And you can double check it by just going menu, set. Uh, SD card, or no, it's not SD card, it's others information version. Da da, we have the latest, so that's it. Thanks for watching. I mean, it's a fantastic device, isn't it? It's very early here, here in the morning, lots of LED lights at the moment, but it's probably the best pound for pound HF6 four meters radio ever made and i i, I think the 710 the asu 710 is up there as well bye for now 73 all the best